What do I need to tell you to make you believe that Andy is not the reason I came back? I have a vested interest in this firm, okay? I'm here to make sure it stays afloat. That's it. Mm -hmm. And Andy is more than capable of running the firm. I mean, the partners all but handed her the reins before Gary was stabbed. Yes, and once all of this is behind her, I firmly believe she will make a wonderful managing partner. That is, as long as her work does not fall off in the interim. I will make sure that doesn't happen. Okay, so Robin explained in detail what his plan was. Well, in terms of keeping Hayden occupied in best interest to Andy, but at the same time, he also goes into detail as to, hey, I know things look suspect, like I just happened to come back at the right time. Isn't it a coinky dinky do? But it's, re it's not what you think it is for Tima. So he basically breaks it down. Like the reason I came back is because I heard about Leland's passing and I want to come and guide the you know company in the right direction as they make this change in terms of the next managing partner. I kind of call bull on that because the way he made it sound is like, as soon as I heard about Leland's past and I dropped everything and ran, but I'm like, if you look at that, Leland died at, it was like the cliffhanger ending of like episode two or three of season seven. And a lot of time has passed between, it's basically been, okay, what, this was season eight, episode four. Yeah, it's, it's been almost an entire season's worth of episodes since this dude kicked the bucket. And on top of that, more than a couple of weeks have passed. There have been at least one and a half to two months that passed during season seven. So for Robin to say he dropped everything, it's like crazy to me because no, he didn't. Now you could argue that maybe he didn't come back until the firm had already decided that, okay, we're looking at Andrea Barnes. So, you know, we're going to, you know, set her up as being the next managing partner and then Robin came then to kind of guide the company into direction. But I don't know. It could just be a figure of speech. Like as soon as I heard, because maybe he didn't hear right away. But then again, considering one of the partners at one of your firms died, you think he would have known about it a lot sooner. Or, you know, it would have gotten to his ear faster than it did. Keep in mind, he talked about how, you know, somebody down at the precinct said that, hey, one of your um, hotshot attorneys is being interrogated. So it's one of those situations where, eh, is Robin telling the truth? I don't know. Every He's able to answer the questions a bit too easily and too cleanly. But he did confirm what I said before, uh, theorized before, about Fatima working under Hayden as a way to keep an eye on him. Because he says this is due to the fact that Andy is in a good position to be managing partner. But if she falls behind on her caseload, that might not look good. But my counter argument is, even though that is a good answer, my counter argument is, well, Hayden is a tax attorney. And if he is able to handle both his and Andy's caseloads with little to no issue, wouldn't that arguably make him look like the better candidate for managing partner since he was able to manage two caseloads at once? And one of those caseloads is not what he specializes in. That's my question. But then again, a hey, plot armor, everything works out. I ain't gonna lie. It's kind of a segue here, but even though Hudson is a pain in the behind and he's slimy, he did make some valid points about Andy always being caught up in some sort of scandal and is able to walk away scot-free while everybody else, you know, suffers in the background. That is kind of true. But yeah, it just makes like, uh, it makes for an interesting topic of discussion as to whether or not Robin is too good to be true. Like his answers are too specific. They answer everything right away. But at the same time, it's like, is this all staged? Is it planned? Is there something else we aren't realizing in the background? I don't know. But I will say in terms of um, this particular episode, I do like that we uh, Fatima is questioning. He, she does to what needs to watch her temperament because, you know, even she caught herself, you know, using a few choice words that she shouldn't use in a professional setting. But regardless, uh, what do you think about Robin's rational, rationale as to why he's back? what he's doing and hey Fatima just trust me so with that being said let me know your thoughts in the comments below like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video